Now the world of children, a U.S.-based uh, child advocacy group has given its first ever education award uh, to Miriam Mason Sisse of Sierra Leone for her dedication to improve education in her country and to Winfred Salby of Ghana for empowerment of Ghanaian youth. Viewers Bernard Shasman sat down with the two winners for an interview in New York. Tell me about your award, what you, what you did to get this special World of Children Award for Education. So I run an organization called Educate. I'd like to think in a sense that it's not just me, it is um, I represent a whole team. And what we do is run education programs in Sierra Leone. So we run a network of schools and we have a significant now outreach program of teacher training to other schools um, in our area. You, you won this award because of these special programs you've set up for young people. Yeah. Tell me about them. Okay, thank you. My initiative is called the EPF Educational Initiative Empowerment. I'm based in Ghana. What I do is that in Ghana there are young girls that are not motivated to go to school because they cannot afford sanitary pads. So they have sent themselves from going to school. Secondly, there are most young girls that are also involved in teenage pregnancy because during their menstrual cycles, they do not get money to purchase these sanitary pads. So some of them involve themselves in premarital sex and at the end of the day, they involve themselves in teenage pregnancy because they think involving themselves in those uh, premarital sex, they are going to earn money at the end of the day to purchase the sanitary pads for themselves. And school children also in Ghana, some are walking about seven miles to and from school every single day. Some of these children are barefooted. And whilst they walk barefooted, some are also affected by these soil transmitted diseases. So actually when I really sat down about this problem that is really going on in my country, what I thought was education is the key way to success. These youth are the hope of the nation. These are the people that we are expecting them to pick up the leadership mantle in the next years to come. But these are the same people that are facing these challenges in deprived the communities. Then where lies the hope of the nation? So that was why I decided to put up the EPF Educational Initiative Empowerment. So what I do is I address these um, menstrual problems that young girls are facing. We donate to these young girls sanitary pads that will help them go to school. And we also give those uh, school children that walk barefooted to school with educational materials. We provide them with shoes, school bags that will make school going very easy for them. Some of these girls, so we give them educational scholarship to school so that they can get access to education. And you're a young woman. Yeah, I'm 20 years of age. You're 20 years of age. <laughs> Some of these young girls, um, when they see me, they see me as an inspiration because they, they were not expecting that when I said I was 15 years of age, so they were actually not expecting a young girl to be able to pick up such a great initiative. So anytime they see me that I'm being able to, you know, provide them their needs, they are always happy. And whenever they see me, some of them, I'm a role model to them. They're like, wow, because they know that I'm a hope for them. They know that I give them voice because I'm a voice to these voiceless young girls in Ghana. Well, I want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we cover. Join the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54. And check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com. Find me on Twitter at voavincemacquarie.